North or something, like 200, whatever. It's like the closest the, saltwater croc. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, they keep a track, like, you know, they're pretty vigilant about how, where they are, what rivers they would be. Because they got to warn people, like, yeah. don't swim here. Some people don't listen. They're stupid and they die. But, like, a croc's not going to just sort of give you an exploratory bite like a great white might and right. leave you. No, you know? they're going to snatch you. And they're, you know, and they're not going to get the surfboard in the way from the underbite, you know? They're going to... There was a horrible story that I read. I think it was in <coughs> National Geographic about this these two people that were kayaking in a river in Africa. And this guy watched... Third guy went with them. Did you... This might be a different story. I don't know. What, do you, what, what story did you hear? This one was like, these two guys were going to do a first descent down this thing. And they were contacting another guy who had done that river, an American guy. Mm -hmm. And the American guy was like, I can't miss this descent. I got to do this. I got to do that whole river. And then the three of them got into this zone where there was just crocs everywhere. And the river was real slow and wide. And as soon as they got there, all the river, all the crocs came off the river bank. And they were like, oh, shit, there's like tons of them. Oh. And this guy's theory was to take his helmet and throw it off to the side so it would be like movement and distract them. And they'd attack that and he'd paddle the shore. And all three of them got together. And the American guy was on the right side. And the other two guys were together. And they were so close, they could, like the guy in the middle like couldn't really paddle. He was just kind of like, you know, trying to move along with them. And so they figured if the, the bigger we are, the bigger we look and more intimidating. Like maybe we'll be okay. 15, 18 foot croc comes up, grabs the guy, psh, takes him out of his pulls him out of his kayak disappears they never see him again his backpack floats up and then his stuff's floating down downstream the other two guys get out of the water and um i think i'm telling the story pretty good because i read it like five times yeah online too and they got out of the water and then there was a little village just down and there was a little um uh, bridge over and they, they had, there were some boats but the boats were all dry docked and they went down and in broken english there was one person that could talk to him or whatever and they said you know our boats are not in the water because there's too many crocs here. Like, we know not to go in the water. Because they were like, we need a boat. We got to find his body. We got to try and save him, you know? And then they went to this bridge and watched this stuff, like, float by. That's the same story. Yeah. It's, yeah. And the guy wasn't supposed to be on the trip. Was, and it was about the guy, the, the kayak <coughs> flipping and yeah. then pulling his body yeah. out under the kayak. Yeah. <sighs> Brutal. Brutal. They're monsters. There's a... There's a show called they are Uncharted. Dinosaurs. They really are. Yeah. There's a show called Uncharted by, uh, yeah. with, you ever seen that show? Yeah. My friend Jim Shockey is a- uh, Florida. Pro, yeah, that's a 15 <laughs> foot fucking alligator they found in Florida strolling across the golf course. And the next day they found a giant snake, a giant rattlesnake strolling across a golf course. Look at the size of that thing. I fed, I, you know, I was friends with Steve Irwin. So oh, I used to go to- God, look at the size of that thing. It's massive. It's on a golf course. Here's the thing. I, 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 I think there's a misconstrued misconception about the, the Crocs. And they actually talked about this because I used to be friends with Steve Irwin before he passed away. He, ta he actually had me hand feed a 13 foot Croc. Scariest, oh, scariest thing I've ever done in my why? life. Terrified. He, why would you do that? I don't know. He, he told me, you know, you got to feed a Croc. You're Fuck he's like, that. Kelly, you're ready, mate. You got to feed a Croc. You got to feed aggro. Oh. So for Australia two nights. so crazy. For two nights, I had nightmares. Look at what's what this is this guy, guy doing? What's this guy doing? I told you I saw this a few weeks ago. What's this guy doing? He's feeding them. Why is yeah. he doing? Look at the hand. heads of these things. Look at their heads. I can't zoom in. Good lord! And these are wild crocs. Yeah. Well, they look pretty. T like they know this guy's gonna feed them something. They know something's what in that bag. What the fuck <laughs> ever, man! Look at the heads on these things. But see, this is like the conception we the the the, the concept we have about these animals right we just think that they're just killers and whatever do you ever see the guy in limon costa rica who had a pet 15 foot croc yeah that i he did raised? see that that guy's <clears> an <throat> asshole <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy yeah. it's a crazy animal man yeah it's it crocs freak me out but i like i kind of mess when i'm playing when i'm playing golf i play a lot of golf when i'm in florida i always mess with the gators like i'll grab them by the tail what I'll, yeah why? Oh, and it's it's kind of I don't know. It's just like <clears throat> it's fun until you get your arm bit off. Yeah, dude. I guess. But I, this guy's not even worth. He doesn't even need to backstep. You know, he's like. Well, those are smaller. Yeah, but that I mean, thing's still gonna rip your arm off if it sure. death rolls. But that's so small in comparison to oh. those other ones. I was fishing in Australia in this freshwater uh, river, but it goes down to the ocean, so salt waters crocs come up it. To a certain point, there's like this dam, and they don't go past that. So you know, down here is up here is all the fresh water. Down here is fresh and salt water. And we saw a few 15 foot crocs this day. And we're in a boat that was six feet wide and about 
18 feet long, 15, 18 feet long. And, um, you know, the guy taking us, he said, you know, we don't have a problem in this boat, but, you know, if you fell out of the boat, there's a fucking problem. <sighs> but he was telling us a story one day how he's fishing with these guys. And this one guy standing up in the boat fishing, he falls out of it. Uh, and the guy was about 250 pounds or something, like a big dude, like two, maybe 300 pounds. He was like a big overweight guy. And he fell out of the boat. And the guy said the guy was in the water for about two minutes. And he was just like, any second, this guy is dead. He's like, I, there's nothing I can do. And he said it was all they could do to, he had, they had to get him from the front of the boat. He was trying to pull up, come up the side and he couldn't and he was panicking. Oh, so, he, you know, when people Christ. go into panic mode, like when people are drowning and they're panicking, they say you got to punch him in the face and try to knock him out and calm down. And they, <laughs> they couldn't punch this guy. Like they were, they were trying to get him to calm down and they had to get him all the way to the back of the boat because they had to get him up the transom. And mm -hmm. they said from there they could get leverage and lift him right. and it wouldn't flip the boat or whatever. Right. But he said, this guy was in the water for a couple minutes. Oh. And, and he's like, at any time, there's a crock that's big enough to eat you within sight of us here oh. at all times. But this guy said that, he said that um, the biggest, you know, I said, what's the biggest one you've ever seen? Because we've seen 15-foot crocs like every 20 minutes, every half an hour. We see a 15-foot. <laughs> fuck, a, Yeah, no, giant freaking really? crock. Really? Yeah, and we're, we're fishing. Oh, my God. And um, we're fishing for barramundi. <laughs> That's a crazy fish. <clears throat> yeah. And um, and uh, so we're fishing for a bear Monday, and, and I keep thinking, like, I don't know, when you got one in the line, it's like a shark, will it bite that thing or whatever? And, and anyways, we start asking the guy, what's the biggest one you ever saw? And he said, mate, the biggest one I ever saw was about 28 feet. 28 yeah, feet? Yeah, 29 feet maybe. Oh and he said God. he's only seen it once, and he saw it from about a kilometer away, and they estimated the size. And he said this guy, these guys in a helicopter saw it once. And it doesn't stay in the river. It stays out in the ocean. And he said, it's so smart. It knows it's in silty water where nothing can see it. There's nothing as big as it. It, it owns its territory, you know. 28 feet. Yeah, and he said that he said that the back, we're in the six-foot boat. And he said, if this thing, he goes, I, I tell you this, how big they are. He goes, this one would be. He said, if it was under our boat, it would be sticking out about four to six feet on either side across its back <gasps> sideways. And we're in a six foot wide boat. So he said it'd be like 15 foot across the back. It's back. Like that's how. What the so fuck? So think of the girth of something that big. 15 feet across the back? Yeah. That's what this guy told me. I don't know. We didn't see it. <laughs> oh my God. But I mean, we're seeing, you know, 15 footers that are like, it's girth close to that. You know, like a great white. When you see a 15 foot great white, it's girth is 15 feet. Right. Pretty much. They're so fat. Yeah, yeah, once they get like 10 feet, then they start getting fat and their girth gets about the length of them. So if you see a 15 or 20 foot, 18 foot great white oh. and you measure their girth, it's pretty much their length. How big do crocs get? What's I don't the know. This guy croc? said, I don't know. This guy's claiming it's like must be the biggest croc in the world. But there was one they called Gus or something in Africa. I used to go, late night just YouTube this stuff. And they were saying this is one that had eaten like they think it's eaten over 100 or 200 people in these villages. Oh, Jesus. And they think it's like 23 feet long or something. Well, this uh, Jim Shockey <clears throat> show that I was talking to you about, Uncharted, they, they hired him. Gustavo. Look at that fucking thing. The Savannah King. Is that a perspective <laughs> shot, though? Look how far back those guys are. I know. Are. You wonder. You wonder. Yeah, but people do that with pigs, and they make them. I do that giant. with my fish when I foot, when I catch a fish. Yeah, I put it right by the lens. <laughs> it says twenty eight feet four inches, so that makes sense. Like, oh, what's that's a that? Replica of that's a replica yeah. of how big it was. Yeah. Fuck that thing, fuck that thing, and everything that was alive before it that made dinosaurs it. too. You know, look like, at this. Go back to that picture, Jamie. That replica. Make that larger. The replica. And just make that larger. Look at the size of that fucking thing. Well, oh. Like, what is the <coughs> largest confirmed one? Because if that one is 28 feet, 4 inches, this thing, the thing about that when they said 28 feet, 4 inches, that's like back when people were full of shit. Yeah. I like mean, that, this guy who told me, this Aussie guy might have been trying to freak me out, too. I mean, because the Rico. back, Look at that, that, thing's, right there. that thing's 20 feet, and it's not yeah. 20 feet across its back or 12 feet, you know what Yeah, I mean? but another 8 foot long is pretty, that's yeah. a lot the, the, bigger and wider. Well, you see, when you see like a 5 foot croc, uh, alligator, and then you see a 10 foot, the, the girth, Relative to the length changes yeah, at that point. It's like a, a, he's talking about the ratio and the size. It's yeah. like one point. Right. What does it say? Number one. Why does it say number one candidate? This what? is a list of the top 10. So I think of there's largest a cro bunch, crocodile. Yeah, there's a Cambodia crocodile, seven meat. Now, is this just the, the species they're talking about? <laughs> Yeah, this is just the five largest crocodiles ever recorded on this. Oh, okay. Website. Cambodia. Show the picture of the Cambodia one 23 feet. Um, that doesn't have a picture. Oh, it doesn't? This was the only one that had a picture. Why would you not take a picture of a 23-foot-long <laughs> crocodile? Trust me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Shit was big. 
Yeah, I mean, I would imagine that there's probably bigger ones out there. I know there was a super killer croc that went extinct that far dwarfed those those that were things. 60 feet or just whatever. giant enormous like I had a f- extinct pull up that extinct giant crocodile i had a friend who was a commercial fisherman in south africa and he like he told me he's like bro the biggest sharks are way bigger than you think he's like really? he, yeah and i go i want to see a picture or something he said i'll tell you this i was on a 60 foot boat with 10 guys fishing Almost, he said, like, everybody in the boat saw the shark. He said it came up next to their boat. They were 20 miles off of Port Elizabeth where there's this reef they fish. And he's claiming the thing was more than half the length of their 60-foot boat. What? Yeah, he's like, it was 35 feet. That's what he tells me. What is the biggest great white? Like 20. But he's saying there's it's bigger than 20. that. Jacques Cousteau supposedly filmed one in Cape Verde that they didn't have anything. They couldn't tell the size because they didn't have something next to it. He said it was close to 10 meters, which is 30 feet. But this guy's this guy's telling me he he goes no I've, he goes I've seen the shark twice out there, is what he told me, but I don't know. They're out there every day. That's the thing. Yeah. How many people are out there? Yeah, I don't know. You know, and it's like people. Where are the biggest ones? The biggest ones are smart. You know. Yeah. Like I don't. I rarely see a big shark. Rarely. I'll see. Like I've seen a couple of great whites in South Africa jump. Look at that thing. That that is the a replica of something that used to exist. Twelve animals, you're glad it is extinct. Look at the fucking skull. This guy's basically standing inside the skull of this crocodile. It's so freaky. Fuck that, man. <clears throat> well, that's that. That's the premise of that stupid movie, The Meg. Meg the is, Megalodon. Yeah, movie. I won't even watch it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like how come? The, I don't know. So do you remember stupid. that? Do you remember that movie, The Deep Blue? Is that what it's called? And there was a shark that they were. Tra- there were sharks that were training, like they were like GMO sharks or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like these genetically cloned sharks, oh, and they were no. supposedly training them, and then they got too smart, and they started eating everyone. Oh. And then there's like, you know, the like girl, Jurassic the, Park the hot girl in the bikini, and she has to like oh. take off her wetsuit because it's rubber. I don't know. There's, you, you see these movies, and you just like the, the the artistic license on these things is so bizarre. There's no truth to it. It's is this like it? Yeah, Samuel Jackson was in it. There we go. And he starts talking about. He water? goes, you know what? You know what? Oh, da- dangerous. Water. Water's not dangerous. So Ice is not dangerous. Going to fight. Together, and we're gonna find a way to get out of here. Spoiler. First, we're gonna seal off this. <laughs> yeah. Good movie. Know. See that? I mean, I Solid. wouldn't. I Didn't wouldn't see that coming at all. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go in the water for <laughs> seconds after that. I saw that movie. You know, I actually was with Samuel L. Jackson like three weeks ago in Paris. We no, were playing he, golf together. What? Do, how big? I do wanted you think, to ask him about that, but I didn't. I didn't have the balls. <laughs> I mean, how big do you think they could be and people don't know? I mean, 30 feet sounds reasonable. If they think they're 25 feet, there could be one that's 30 feet. Maybe, yeah. I mean, I think it's reasonable to go. But that's a lot more years and eating. Yeah, and, yeah, like, yeah, no yeah. one saw it during that time. I mean, it's kind of like UFOs. I got to see one. Yeah. You know? I got to see guess, an alien. but you've seen know. sharks, and we yeah. know they get big. And we're not, there's not, how many people are out there looking for them? That's the thing. But they the ocean's filmed one, massive. They filmed one they called Big Blue last year, I think, in um, Guadalupe Island, I think it was. And it was 21 or 22 online? feet. Yeah, the video's online. And it's, you know how big they look, right? Yeah. This thing's face and nose looks small because its body's so huge. It must have been a pregnant female or something. Oh, but wow. its body looks like even bigger around than the length. And they said it was 20. There yeah, look at this <gasps> thing. See, like its face almost looks like small what compared to its What the butt. fuck? <laughs> oh my god! But see, see the girth. The girth is so freaky. World's largest shark, seven meters. So that's yeah, twenty so twenty-two feet, yeah. twenty-three feet. What the? This guy fuck, touches it too. The guy comes out of the cage and touches it. <gasps> Look at the size of this thing. That's another thing. This, the shark feeding freaks me out. Does this guy touch it? Watch. He just comes out and he's like, "I gotta touch this that creature. Guy's an I asshole. got to <laughs> get out of there, bitch." But see, like its face almost looks small compared to how right. Oh, it's, it's so, so massive. It's so scary. That is so big. It looks like a whale. It literally looks like a whale. Oh my god! And to think that there's something out there that's ten feet bigger than that. Well, a killer but, whale could eat that thing's liver without oh, yeah. thinking about it. That's Snap a, it in half. And a, a killer whale is just a dolphin. It's so weird to think yeah. that that thing 
has dominance over that thing. It is, but they're just so much smarter. Yeah. It's not even yeah, close. Yeah. They're so much more agile, yeah. so much smarter. This one too is 400 <coughs> How years old. What? This is a uh, seven what kind of gill, what do they call is that? it? Oh, a Greenland, Greenland shark. Greenland shark, yeah. They think, isn't, wasn't that one of the speculations of what the Loch Ness monster was? I think uh, that was uh, some sort of but a it, landlocked green, or not yeah, landlocked. but it wouldn't but, have been in the, the lock. No, they think it was in the lock because it was trapped, because I the lock was used to be connected to. I think uh, that was a twig. <laughs> Could be. That was a it fucking could be. driftwood, man. Or it could be like a sturgeon or some shit like that. Like there was one of one of those um what was a uh, Lake Champlain or one of those Yeah, lakes. the sturgeons are huge. Yeah, but sturgeons are crazy. Freaky, looking. Yeah. That's a that's another dinosaur. And the alligator gar, you seen those things? Oh yeah, those man. My freaky. friends went fishing for them. Yeah. They have them in Texas. Yeah. You can catch them in Texas. Those things are bizarre. I don't think you're noodling for those things. No. <laughs> that's another that's thing that's that. hundreds of millions yeah. of years old, right? Yeah. I mean, that would be, I'd love to go take my friends and just go noodling sometimes. Sounds kind of creepy. Your girlfriend would be like, what, noodling? Oh, for a catfish? Yeah. Yeah. Would, yeah but, but you get to accidentally get turtles sometimes. Those snapping turtles would bite your arm off, wouldn't it? Yeah, we'll that's one of the scariest things. We'll that looks up. like it would just break your arm in half. Probably fuck you up. I mean, I'm sure dudes have probably lost fingers oh, to the snapping for turtles. Sure. Those, just, uh, what's that? Yeah, I accidentally Googled that and it. Snapping turtle incidents popped up. There oh, guys just, losing their hands. No, yeah. see, that's just not. Oh, cool. don't show me this. Because that's like Ouch. two razors. They're like two razors that go. Yeah, sh like garden shears. Yeah, yeah. Taking your fucking arm off. 